The secret to the tone tool is our topic today. A uh, little bit of our coffee break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. Let's just dive right in onto our topic. Now, I love this image, okay? But I'm sure when the photographer took the picture, this isn't what he saw. I'm sure he saw the beautiful colors and the scene. This is what we ended up with. What we're gonna do is a real quick, which I'm not gonna go overboard on it to show you, but I'm gonna develop the image first, then we'll add the tone tool. So I'm gonna come up here to toning. I'm gonna reset it, just to get rid of it. So I add develop, simple little, a little bit of mystical, and then the enhance, and now here's the original, and here's the image. Now we can talk about the tone tool, which is our topic, all right? So we developed the image quick. Now I'm gonna add the tone tool at the very end. When I first did this, I added the tone tool right away, right after develop. The order is not gonna make a difference, but for teaching purposes, I wanna make sure um, you, you see the tone tool in action. So I'm gonna come over here to, to to tools, under creative, I'm gonna click on the uh, tone tool, toning. Now from here, the easiest way to get this looking the way you want is start with the shadows and I'm gonna bump up the saturation, you know, maybe, maybe to around 50, just, just again, arbitrary, it's not set in stone. I just wanna see what the heck I'm doing in the shadows. Now from here, I'm just gonna slide this across until it looks the way I want it. Now I want more of the browns to come out. So I'm gonna head more towards the gold tones or the gold hues. Ooh, now that looks pretty good right about there. So that looks good for the shadows. Now let's go to the highlights, same thing. And again, I'm just doing a real quick saturation to bring it up. And the highlights, I think I wanna go more on the cooler side. Yeah, that looks good right about here. All right, now, like I said, we just did arbitrary numbers. I'm gonna go back to shadows again. I can increase the amount just to bring, bring out more of those tones and just touch you up a little bit. Oh, I like that. Now, here's a little secret um, section that people have a tendency of forgetting, and that's the balancing. So now I can balance the shadows with the highlights. So this is what it looks like if I just wanted the highlights in that, that tone that I created, this is what it'll look like. If I just want the shadows, this is what it'll look like. And then of course you can balance it in the middle. So I'm gonna lean more towards the shadows Ooh, right about there. That looks good. Before, after, great. And now I'm gonna tie it all together with a vignette. I'll choose my subject, which is the woman uh, drinking the coffee. Dial it back, bring the size in just a bit. And then of course, click on the advance. And now down here with the inner light, let, oh, look at that. Let's bring that up. I'm gonna dial that back just a little bit. And let's see, before, oh, I have to look at that. And it brought the attention right to the subject itself. So I'm gonna come back to edit now. So I have it all set here. I'm gonna click on this card. So this is what we started with. After developing it, this is the tone. And then of course, this is the vignette tool, which ties it all in nicely. Now, once you have it all set, instead of having to go through that over and over again, click on actions, save as a preset. And once it comes up, I'm gonna save this, let's call this um, gold tone or brown tones, uh, version one. And you can give it a better creative name than that. 
and there we have it. So if I came back and I reverted to original, so here's the original coming up in a moment. And I could have done that through the edit. And I could have went to edit and reverted. Now I did crop it by the way, all right? But you can come in here and from presets, there's the brown tones we just created. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. Hit C for crop. And now I'm gonna dial it in just a bit. Right about there, using the rules of third. And again, you can crop it any way you want it, but that just gives you a quick example. So there we have it. The tone tool is one of those tools that I just absolutely fell in love with years ago. And I fell in love with it because there were already presets made for it. I had no guesswork to do. I just clicked on it. Oh, wow, that looks pretty cool. Old fashioned black and white, nice. Vignette, or not vignette, um, sepia color or sepia, click. That looks great. I got lazy. So I kept trying to find out where in our product do we have that same feature? And there it was in the tone tool. So if you have time and you want that one click preset, do what we just did. Pick the same image, change the colors around to where you feel the tone is a different tone. Maybe it's more of a cooler or it's bringing out different colors. Add that in there and then create a preset so the next time there's no guesswork. Just click on it and there it is. All right. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment and I'll see you at the next coffee break.